Lesson 2.1, Concept 2, Creating a Table of Ordered Pair Solutions. So if this is my equation, my two-variable equation, all right, um, I've already looked at how to determine if something is a solution. Okay, now we're going to look at creating a table that shows us um, different solutions. Okay, it shows us a number of different solutions. So this is my table down here. All right, it's got four columns. Okay, um, <clears throat> different columns are going to hold different values. All right, so for my first column, all right, after I've created it, that's step one. Step two is going to be using my independent value or my x variable. Okay, the values that I'm given for that, um, those are going to go into this column. Okay, so I have one, two, three, and four. My two is a little, a little bit iffy there. There, one, two, three, and four. Okay, those are the values I'm given. I just plug those in because that's my independent variable. All right. Um, those numbers don't depend on, or these values don't depend on anything else. Um, those are the ones I'm given. Second is I'm going to use these values and the equation, so this green part, um, to figure out my dependent variable value. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to say, okay, I've got 2 times x, but in this case, my x is... 1, so 2 times 1 minus 1, 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1 is 1. So when my x value is 1, my y value is 1. All right, and I'm going to go down to my next value. I've got 2 times 2 minus 1, 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1, so my y value is going to be 3. And so my x is 2, my y is 3. I'm going to keep going. 3 times 2, minus 1. And you should get to the point fairly quickly where you start to see a pattern emerge. Um, so I've got 3 times 2 is 6, minus 1, which is 5. 1, 3, 5. And at this point it should be pretty obvious that we are counting my odd numbers in my y value. So this next one should be 7, all right, if the pattern continues, which it should. So 4 times 2 minus 1, 8 minus 1, I'll go at it's 7. So now I have my first three columns finished, and I'm going to fill in my ordered pair. Okay, my ordered pair is going to be my x value, which is 1 followed my, by my y value, which is 1, 2, 3, 3, 5, and 4, 7. So I've got my table all filled out, and these ordered pairs are going to be my solutions. Okay, These are going to be four solutions that I've found. All right, in any equation, there's an infinite number of solutions. Okay, it keeps going on forever. That line keeps going on forever. Um, but these are four of them that I've found, and I've used x values that are pretty um, close to the origin, pretty close to the center. So um, I should be able to graph these ordered pairs fairly easily.